Seagrass is a vital habitat for fish and other aquatic fauna. It also provides a good source of food for these animals, such as it provides the grow of the seagrass blade. Traditional block and chain moorings use a dump weight on the seabed, which is linked to a heavy chain. As the boat swings in response to winds and currents, the chain moves along the seabed, scouring and tearing seagrass from the roots, leaving a circular bare patch around the mooring blocks as seen from these aerial photos. That is why the block and chain mooring is one of the main causes of mechanical disturbance to seagrass. The trials that commenced in 2008 show that when block and chain moorings were removed and replaced with environmentally friendly moorings, seagrass recolonised the scoured areas. But how do these moorings compare with the traditional block and chain mooring in safely mooring a vessel? A pool test demonstration was undertaken on the 10th of June 2014 at Lake Macquarie, New South Wales to compare the performance of block and chain moorings with two types of environmentally friendly moorings, the seagrass friendly mooring and the eco mooring. Each mooring was pulled on by a tug with a load cell inserted in line to measure and compare the forces experienced by each mooring. A remote handheld display of the load cell was used on board the observer vessel where the relative loads were recorded in tons. Moorings were tested in both mud and sand. Take it up to flat out gradually. Okay. That's yeah, one time now. Oh, just having to go to top speed. The demonstration confirmed that the two types of environmentally friendly moorings were able to withstand greater loads than the block and chain mooring before breaking out. It would seem that these designs not only protect sensitive habitats like seagrass, 
but they may also be a stronger and safer option for mooring boats.